Welcome back to Spellforce Breath of Winter, where we are back in Tirganach. Um, off screen, I looked around the shops here and found what I needed for the bone armor. The bone armor of a berserk. And I spent just a, well, quite a bit of time in the uh, farming spot. Uh, experience farming spot in the first map I've shown uh, shown yesterday and yeah got I ended the episode last time about here of on the last level so this is what I got for probably two hours of standing there not a lot but it is experience anyway Eileen may Elan give us peace What happened to Adele? She fell off a cliff on the eastern mountain. We don't know how it happened, but hardly anybody believes Adele simply lost her back. Oh. May Ayla. What? Adele's? This is not right, and where is she coming from? Uh, this is. confusing. Return to a loom. Okay, so we're well down here. Fetch the firebane from the. I did that. Alun? Have you been able to obtain the firebane? I have the firebane, the secret knowledge of the dwarves. Then you are ready. My sisters and I must tarry here. Idael has departed from us. A new priestess must be appointed. Ah. You, however, should not delay. We don't know how much time still remains, and the way to the fire city is treacherous. How do I get to Shaldun? The Imperials have sealed up the gates. We are unfamiliar with their magic, but we know there are dark elves, and they will help us break the seal of the Empire. How is that supposed to happen? This was once the city of the Norcanes. Years ago, my sisters drove the Dark Ones out of this holy place, but the spirits of the Old Lords continue to slumber beneath the ice. They built these gates. We hope we can find something in the tombs that we can use to open the gate. They take yourself by night to the caves near the western bridge. That's where they sometimes ascend from the icy depths. Is that now up here or western bridge? Um. Ah, the ruinous back. I have here an elf's runestone. Let me see, and it is already awakened. A new fighting man in your ranks. Or, more precisely, a fighting woman. Do you have another runestone? Runestones are rare and precious. You should keep your eyes open. There may be some ancient stones from the circle lying around anywhere. If you find an essence but have no runestone with you, return to the corpse as soon as you have one. The essence remains in one place for a long time. As soon as you have a sleeping rune, bring it to me. I will awaken it. And Kira. I'm not certain where they want me to go now. But... <sighs> there were some other things in town. Oh, now the gate is open to the north. It's time Grim got the punishment he deserves. Chal Dune is awaiting us. Now, Eileen. May Elan give us peace. What happened to Adele? She fell off a cliff on the eastern mountain. We don't know how it happened, but hardly anybody believes Idale simply lost her balance. A creature? 
We don't know, but Lefer, one of the sisters who accompanied her, claims a novice pushed her. You mean an elf killed another elf? It was a long time ago, but there have been dark chapters in our past. We hardly have any laws, but Lefer has demanded that I lock up Betha. Lefer is a priestess. I can hardly refuse, but I have a feeling there is more than one lie in the air. Should I help you with the investigation? You're a foreigner. They aren't likely to tell you anything. On the other hand, you have no customs and rules of an order that bind you. Question Betha, Lefer, and the guard Fenair. All three of them were with the High Priestess Idale on the Eastern Mountain. Try to find out which one is responsible for Idale's death. Once you've formed an opinion, come back to me. All right. I also saw. I don't know. Had I noticed this before? The prison here with Link McWinter. Hey, you there? Get me out of here! Help! I bet there's a reason why you're in there in the first place. Ah, that Darius is horribly petty, locking up a man because of a book. Let me use your weapon for a minute, will you? You stole a book from Darius? No! W well, I borrowed it to look up something. You are a thief. No! I never steal anything! I just... You're a thief and a liar. Very well, very well. Now listen to me. I lost the book. If you look for it and could bring it back to Darius, the old owl would surely let me out of here. Where do you think it is? Mm, I think somewhere near a ruined temple here in Tirganach. I don't know for certain anymore. Somewhere off to the west, perhaps. Is there a ruined temple here somewhere? It was just under it. Up here. I knew I remembered undead here. But um, I think I do something else first. Why do you have a name, Firun? Okay, Beta. I didn't do it. You must believe me. Calm down. I am just here to question you. Tell me what happened. Idel? I mean, the High Priestess Idel told me to carry the things she had prepared for a ritual prayer. Together with Lethair, who was to assist her in carrying out this ritual, and Fenair, we went up to that place on the cliff. I remember that Fenair went away to trace a sound we had heard. When I handed the High Priestess the artifacts, I noticed I had forgotten the Elen Chalice. As she was so often before, she was very annoyed and sent me off to fetch the chalice. I ran to the village as quickly as possible, but when I got back, there was nobody there. I went over to the cliff, and there she lay, dead. I found her just as she's now. You must believe me. Then suddenly, Lethair was back there, accusing me. Then Nair came back, and Lethair sent him to the other guards. I... I was so confused. That's all I know. Please. You must believe me. That's the truth. Tell me something about yourself. About me? There isn't much to tell. I'm just trying to serve Arwen and my sisters as well as I can. Even if it isn't always easy. Tell me something about Lethair. Lethair is um, very headstrong. I... I don't like... 
like her. She frightens me. She worked hard to become Adele's right-hand woman, and she makes the rest of us work just as hard. And what about Fenayir? Oh, he's a decent fellow. One of the few humans they will tolerate up here. He voluntarily joined forces with us. He serves with the guards. I was glad he went with us. Who knows what sort of creatures are crawling around here. I have no more questions. Thank you. Okay. Where are the others? Now, thinking about Bafer's story, the thing I would probably do is uh, figure out where she got the chalice from, and someone, like someone, has seen her when she came. If she came back, right? If she came back in a hurry suddenly and then went off again, or something. There were guards, right? What do you want, human? I want to ask you a couple questions. Then Eileen must have sent you. I have already named the murderers. What's the point of all this? Tell me what happened. A foolish business. Very well. Adele went to the Eastern Mountain with us to carry out the ritual of purification, as most of the beasts had been driven away. There were Adele, myself, the novice Bafa, and that uncouth Fenair, who was supposed to protect us. When we reached the crest, we separated. The inept novice had forgotten the Elen chalice and was sent back to town to fetch it. Fenair went off to track down the source of some noise. I set out to look for snow blossoms for the ritual. I must have been away for some time. When I got back, novice Bafa was standing alone on the cliff. And the high priestess Adele lay dead in the valley. At that moment, Fenair returned. I sent him into town immediately to fetch the guards. Then how do you know Betha pushed her into the valley? The high priestess could be as hard as ice, and Betha often shed many tears. She hated Adele, I can tell you that. Tell me something about Betha. An insignificant character. She could perhaps already have become a priestess, if she weren't so wrapped up in her emotions. Tell me something about yourself. I'm beginning to get a little impatient, but very well. I am a priestess of Arin, keeper of this place and its sacred bond with a frost weaver. I have given myself over completely to the service of the community, like all the others here. Tell me about Fenair. What is there to say about him? He's a human, but I think he's quite useful as a guardsman. Thank you. Farewell. And where is that guardsman? Where is he? Did you find out? I'm Ask me. What exactly happened? Idale wanted to rededicate the land of the Eastern Mountains to Arin after it had been polluted by the creatures that had been routed out. She took her right hand Lathair and her personal novice Betha with her to the mountain to carry out the purification ritual. I sent the guard Fenair along with them because the East is not always a safe place. Besides, that poor soul is constantly mooning over Betha anyway. He seemed to be just the right one. Not much time had passed when Fenair came back. He reported that Idale had fallen into the abyss. That's all we know. Tell me about the suspects. The suspects are Lathair and Betha. Both of them belong to the Order of Arin. Young Betha is a novice, while Lathair already holds the office of an experienced priestess. Hmm. Seriously, where's the guard? I want to talk to him as well. Forward. Ah, here. Goodness. Follow me. This is where the corpse is, and right behind the hero monument. And Fenaya. Lying, the motionless body is lying on the ground. She seems to have fallen since 
A priest group is in tatters and blood has flown from some small regular cut wounds around her neck. Her blood is frozen to ice. So definitely someone has slipped her throat. Greetings, Benayir. You, you know my name? I know of Adele's death. Aline has sent me to find out what happened here. So Aline has sent a foreigner? Looks like she doesn't trust any of us. How can I help you? Tell me what happened here. I was commanded to protect Betha and the High Priestess during a ritual. I believe it had something to do with purifying a desecrated site. So we went up onto the eastern mountain. Lathir came along. Adele chided Betha about some chalice. Then I heard footsteps above our path. I went up to have a look, but I couldn't find anything. When I got back, Lathir and Betha were standing on the cliff, and the High Priestess lay dead in the valley. Lathir sent me to town to call the guards. As I left, I heard her accusing Betha of pushing Adele into the abyss. Tell me something about Betha. Betha is a novice in Arun's order. She is a good creature. She wouldn't harm a fly. She didn't kill Adele. That simply cannot be. Tell me something about Lathair. Lathair is cut from the same cloth as Adele, or better said, from the same ice. Adele was a um, difficult woman. She is a domineering woman, but she works hard. I have a feeling she'd like to be the High Priestess. Tell me something about yourself. Me? I'm a god. But how did you happen to come here? I was in the retinue of an ambassador of the Utranians. We came up here when the frost marshes were still open. I was fascinated by the elves, their knowledge and their devotion. My lord allowed me to stay and finally the elves agreed. Since then I've served with the guards under Eileen's command. They value my services because I can wear heavy armor. And these armored fists have taken many an iron that were too hot for the elves to handle. Who do you think did it? I'd be inclined to suspect Lathir. She always wanted to become the High Priestess, and Betha would never do anything like that. Thank you. Blood has flown from some small, regular cut wounds around her neck. <coughs> Hmm. Here, at once. Follow me. That doesn't sound like she was just pushed. And go. A claw, maybe? Did you find out who murdered Idale? I mean, ask me. Who do you think is guilty? I really don't know. Lathair accuses Betha, and the word of a priestess has the power of a law. But I can't believe my sisters would do anything like that, especially not little Betha. But Idale and Betha never got along very well. Idale even forbid her from having any contact with Fenayir. Did you find... I think... Let's hear... It's not the way you think it is. Speak. What have you found out? Hmm. It was the guard, Fenayir. Fenayir? That loyal soul? You think he murdered her? Yes, he did. What gives you that idea? You were the one who told me that Fenayir had his eye on Betha. The way Adele was treating Betha must have gotten him madder than he will admit. But he can't hide it. He must have come back from his patrol earlier than expected. And when he challenged Idale, they got into a fight. But that's just your surmise. We'll never find out for sure. But we know that nobody heard a scream. Idale must have fallen down there in silence. She did. Because Fenayir first strangled her in his fury. If you examine Idale's corpse, you'll see several cuts on her neck that could have been made by armor gloves. Like the ones Fenayir wears. And... He's the only one who wears gloves like that. You're right. I noticed the marks, but Fenayir's gloves never occurred to me. That poor fool. He has a good heart, 
Nonetheless, he's only human. She tell you what to do next. Except she didn't. The quest just ended. I admit, um, if I were to judge this, this would not be sufficient proof. Understood. Ready. Follow me. On my way. On my way. At your service. Reinforce the defenses. Close the ranks. Close the ranks. The rune binds me. For Alamir's honor. Ow. At once. Farman's journey. Pro property of Darius. Forward. Follow Good. me. At your service. Yes. What do you want, friend? I've come about Plink. That windbag. All he had to do was ask. Well, he regrets his deed. You don't even believe that yourself. <laughs> and if I were to bring the book back to you? Hmm. Well, now I'm not inhuman. Then he shall be free. What do you... Your book, Darius. Hmm, good, I'll give you the key. Just a minute. Somebody has torn a couple of pages out of it. I wouldn't mind just tossing this cell key into the lake there, and the little thief along with it. Calm down. I'll ask Flink where the pages are. Oh, Flink. Ah, here you are again. You've torn several pages out of the book. Oh, I, I forgot all about those. I had gone on to Porskol before they could catch me. Have you perhaps forgotten something else? Uh, there were three pages, I believe. Uh, look for them in Forstfall and bring them to Darius. Frostfall? That is another map! Do I want to do this? All right, I looked a bit around that map, killed some Dark Elves and um, Lucian, who were there around, no nothing spectacular in Follow any way. Me. And then I saw the first Werewolf Leader level 20. I think At once. that uh, sounds promising for when we are looking for free Group items. Warriors, to me. On my way. And I also An seen attack. up here is a second werewolf leader. Reinforce the defenses. Back. Understood. We must drive them back. Will it be done? The rune's orders. Close the ranks. For the rune. For freedom. The rune calls. Red blood gem, which Quickly. is not the one I need. At once. But and go. Whatever. <whistles> the elves I still had from way back then. At once. And go. Can Follow me. Guard the monument because I had just. Enemy reinforcements coming out of his cave here. The low level types are level 4 and 5, but um, if no one's ready to defend it, then that is bad. And go! Follow me! Right away. Ready? Back! And on we my must way. drive them back! Reinforce the defenses! 
Spirits, stand by me. The journey is the destination. Everywhere. The rune binds me. Send them to the River of Souls. My ancestors are calling me as you command. Talk to yes. talk. You're standing in the way. At your service. Yes. Yes, priests, you back. We Ready must and able. Drive them back. Will be done. At my Follow command. Me. Will be done. At your command. Oh, come on. Freedom! Second At page. my command. Yeah, and they walk over there. Follow me. And go. And you were thought, yeah? Follow me. Quickly. At once. Hold your ground, men. Yes, they're everywhere. Back. Spirits, we must drive them stand back. by me. We'll be done. Fight, men. So be it. An enemy attack. Reinforce the defenses. For the glory of Aonia. Come on, help, hero. For the rune. Attack! Attack! And a page. Not so all right. Quickly! Let me walk around the map seeing if I don't Follow find me. anything else of interest and, and then go. we return to uh, Darius. Blink. Whatever. Darius. Uh. Oh, there are a lot. Mm. I deal with that later eventually. Probably if I don't forget. Anyway, Terranach, yeah. What do you want, friend? Here, now the book should be complete. Good, here is the key. Make sure he keeps his fingers to himself. Ah! Here you are again. I have the key. Splendid. Quickly, open up. Now, oh, Fleet McWinter. Many thanks. You can really count on a rune warrior. While we're on the subject, you wouldn't by any chance have the time to help me on a little project. Where to? To the Firefangs. I'm hot on the trail of Teandria. Darius's book finally gave me the right clue. Where are the fire fangs? It's a mountain range in the burning land, not far from Shaldun. It's very dangerous there. What is Tiandria? A legendary country, a strange world. The roofs are made of gold, and the residents drink silvery wine from diamond goblets. Many people seek the gate to Tiandria, but I have Farnhart's key, and I'll use it to fetch his treasure. Farnhart was the only one who ever got through to Tiandria. His treasure must be incredible. And it contains clues to the location of the gate to Tiandria. Riches, my friend. Riches. Okay, not yet. Not yet, Flink. Because I don't have access to the fire things. Uh, 
I have no idea how long this episode is. But my recording says is I record for an hour now, so I don't know if much of that remains. Anyway, I think I end this episode here and we continue next time, finally going to the north. Uh, after I got my heroes again. Um, yeah. Until then, I'm Ace and don't get lost. <laughs> <laughs>